It's in there for a strike. Strike call. Nice pitch from Colts. On one to count. Base is loaded right now. In the top half of the second inning. Again, this game resumed from April 6th. Swing and a miss. 0-2 to count now to Rodriguez. Rodriguez with an opportunity to drive in some runs here. With the bases loaded. Colts get set for the pitch. And it's fouled away. Nobody down in the inning. Getting it. Top half of the second. Runners at first, second, and third. No runs across in this inning. Elliott down to third base. Carter Boo at second. He walked. And Miles Thompson with the base on balls. Elliott let it off with a double. Potch in, pitch inside. One and two to count. Cole, shout out of the stretch, chops it, and the ball's chopped foul by Rodriguez. One and two, the count remains. Just underway, but we're in the top half of the second inning. Beautiful, sunshiny day down north of Great Bend. Out of the stretch. Here comes the pitch from Kolsch. Way inside. Gets away from the batter, but runs it down. Just gets outside the circle. So two and two to count now. Rodriguez settling in. Kolsch on the mound. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. So one down now. Colts really needed that one, so Rodriguez could not connect. He's out number one. They'll bring up in batting while will be Turner. Bennett Turner will step in and get set to bat away. Turner in place of Kroll, who's at third base, pitching there for a strike. Cole's taking his time. Here comes the wind up in the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. And a ball gets away. And one run actually hits him and ends up scoring a run. So Hutchison up is now six to nothing. The bases remain full. So Elliott comes in. So Turner hit by the pitch. We'll bring in Elliott. Elliott taking his time. Comes the wind up, pitch inside. Mm, pitchers in there for a strike. Three and one to count now. Two down. Top half of the second inning. One run across in this inning. Based on balls, walked in, and that'll walk in another run. So Carter Boo now comes across the plate. Hutchison has played a two in this inning. And 
Now Kinzer Newquist will step in to bat. Base is still full and two runs across. Oh, and one to count now to Newquist. Here comes the pitch. Outside edge missing. Wind up in the pitch, gets by, and coming in to score is going to be Thompson, and he scores another run on a wild pitch. So two and one to count now to Newquist. Runners advance, Hogan down to second, Turner down to third base. And one more run across, eight to nothing. Two and one to count with two down. Here comes the wind up in the pitch. Inside edge. Three and one to count. Blackwell had been playing center field when that game was suspended, so new quest in for him. Blackwell's not here today. Same way with Kroll. Pitch in there for strike. Three and two to count. Full now. Runners will be going. Runners at second and third. With two out. Pitch outside and walked him. So Newquest down to first base. That fools the bases up again. Fills them up again. Top of the order coming up with Dixon coming to bat. Elliott had let off. The inning as he was the player at bat when the game was suspended with big time rain April 6th. Pitch missing, one and no count. Three runs were crossed in this inning. It's missing. 2-0 to count. So Cole's just having a tough time finding the plate there. Pitch missing. 2-1 to count now. Ball hit, base hit, it's going to score a run. And score two runs. Ball comes in, no play at the plate. So two runs score. And a runner at second base and first base. Nice job by Dixon to knock in two. I think we're going to get a substitute runner down at first base for Dixon. As they come out and talk, we'll just take a break as well. We'll be back with more right after this. Here at People's Bank and Trust, we've invested in the future. It's not just technology. It's not just accounts. It's you, our biggest asset. And that's priceless. We will be with you every step of the way. From big business decisions to your very first transaction, we want solutions that work for you. For us, it's simple. Relationships matter. People's Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Elliott Mortuary, family owned and operated since 1935, has served the area with integrity, care, and dedication. 
Have you ever considered a pre-planned funeral? It lifts the burden from loved ones during an emotional time. Plus, you know your personal wishes will be carried out as planned. Did you know it can also mean lower funeral costs? Make the time to pre-plan your funeral. It's more affordable, and if you ever move, it's transferable. Care and integrity are what makes family-owned Elliott Mortuary the right choice for you. Call today and ask about pre-planned funerals at Elliott Mortuary. Just when you thought you were done with taxes, you got a letter from the IRS. Maybe you're being audited, or maybe you filed for an extension and still need some tax help. We at H&R Block are there for you. We don't stop working on April 15th. Our tax professionals are here to help you year-round. So if you have tax issues you need a hand with, even if H&R Block didn't do your taxes the first time around, visit our offices in Hutchinson, Lyons, or Ellsworth and let our experienced tax professionals help get you every dollar you deserve. Oh, now the changing of pitcher coming into pitch. We'll catch the number in just a second. Looks like it's going to be looks like number twelve pitching now for Gray Bim. We'll try to pick up that pitcher. In just a second. As right now, I want to know the count. Ball hits sharply by Kyle Elliott. Another base hit and run score. Elliott stretches another double out of it. So another run across. And runners advance to second and third. Newquist down to. Actually, Dixon around the third base, and Elliott at second base. Newquist is scored. Stepping in will be Boo again. Ball hit at the right fielder, turning him around, and he does lose the ball over there. He drops it. So Boo on his way to third base, an RBI. And he'll have a triple. So Carter Boo with the triple knocks in Elliott. And also knocks in Dixon. And it is 13 to nothing. Hutchinson trying to make quick work here. Thirteen nothing ball game. Hutchinson with the lead. One on now with Boo being at the third baseline. Ball hit to the left, and it's going to be a foul ball. So Miles Thompson steps back in. Boo at third base. Two down now. Wind up in the pitch, hit right back at the pitcher, and he'll gather it in and throw over to first base for the out, and the side is finally retired. So Miles Thompson lines out to the pitcher for out number three. We go to the bottom of the inning. Great Ben coming to back. Great Ben trailing right now, 13-0. We'll be right back. 
Hi, this is DJ Kaufman and Jeff Yoder of the DJ Kaufman Agency. Insurance rates come and go, but not so for proactive customer service. That's right, DJ. As your agent, we'll help you find and personally service your coverage. Instead of handing your file and information over to someone else after the sale, it will stay with us where we'll keep our eyes on it. There's more to insurance than rate buying. There's proactive customer service. I'm DJ Kaufman and Jeff Yoder of the DJ Kaufman Agency. In Hutchinson and at DJKaufmanInsurance.com. Uncommon options with practical, proactive service. Listen to that. Nature thriving, kids having fun, and memories being made. Too bad it's all happening in your neighbor's yard. Break the cycle of your yard being in the no-fun zone. Call Advanced Termite Pest Control for year-round fertilization, weed control, as well as grub control. Advanced is now accepting new customers for this annual program, and when you call, ask them about their discount. Advanced is fully licensed and trained and can help make your yard beautiful. Call Advanced at 662-3616, serving you since 1985. Hi, this is Rob, and I want to tell you about one of my favorite places in Kansas to get a melt-in-your-mouth cheeseburger. It's RV Drive-In, where they've been serving up fresh food, not fast food, since 1948. They're famous for their burgers, but you can also try their homemade pork tenderloin sandwich, patty melts, BLTs, and so much more. Tuesday, Thursday evenings, Friday, and Saturday, they make their homemade onion rings that are the best I've ever eaten. RV Drive-In, Kansas' oldest drive-in at 201 East Avenue A and online at rvdrivein.com. It'll be Cunningham on the mound. He has a 13 to nothing lead right now in the bottom half of the second inning. Nolan Cunningham for Hutchison will be the pitcher. By the way, that was Mater that uh, came in in relief for the Panthers in that top half of the inning and was finally able to get Miles Thompson to ground back to him on the mound. He threw the first for the out. Great Bend's record seven and seven. Hutchinson's record three and thir- four and thirteen. Saldock still in the running though to make the playoffs as uh, there's eighteen teams in the West Division. They'll take sixteen. Will be the bracket. Talk more about that in just a little bit. So Cunningham wind up in the pitch. 1-0 to count. Now it's 2-0, missing outside. It's set on the wind up. Pitch missing. So two and one to count. Here comes the pitch. Outside gets by the catcher. But no harm done with nobody on base. Wind up in the pitch. Walked him. So leadoff batter. That'll be Mater down to... First base. This will be Spray coming to bat. Stefan Spray. He is your first baseman. Pitch in there for a strike. It's over to first base, back safely. It made her. Setting up missing just a bit. Mm-hmm. 
Pitch hit to the right side, base hit. So that'll put a runner at. Made her over at third base and sprays on at first for the base hit. So that'll bring up a new batter up to bat. It'll be Matt Mater. So it's Martinez that is over at third base. Excuse me. Mater is hitting here. Hits outside edge. Barely missing. Pitch a little upstairs. One on one to count. Nobody down here in the bottom half of the second inning. 13 nothing is your score. Hutchinson with the lead. The pitch, swing and a miss. One and two to count now. Major steps in. Beautiful day for baseball. Cunningham out of the stretch, throws over to second base and back safely. Is the runner. Out of the stretch now, looks back at second base. Here's Cunningham's pitch. Gets by the catcher, and both runners will advance. Goes all the way to the right side screen. So a third base runner and also down to second base. So two on here. Major gets set. Two and two to count. Nobody down. Runners at second and third. Pitch swing and a miss. Struck him out. So there's out number one. This will bring up Gavin Haberman. Haberman will be the batter. So one down now in the order. Haberman will step in. 13 nothing. Hutchison leading. Bottom of the second inning. Pitch missing. 1-0 the count. Cunningham out of the stretch. The pitch. Ooh, barely missing that inside edge. It's 2 0 the count now. Cunningham trying to find the plate. Here comes the pitch. Missing. 3 0 the count. So runners will be advancing here. Or going on the sound of the bat hitting the ball. Here we go. Cunningham. Missed him. Loads the bases. So with the bases loaded now, this will bring up the top of the order, and it's going to be your pitcher, Kolsch, Sage Kolsch. Step in there. They're going to come out and chat about it, and we'll take a quick break. Pools Plus knows how to have fun, even at work. We are a family-owned and operated business for over 30 years, with most of our employees carrying over 15 years tenure. Part-time and full-time positions are now available for all sales and service positions. Experience is preferred, but not required, as we are looking to train the right person. Stop by Pools Plus today to see if you are ready to dive into a rewarding career. Pools Plus, 21 East 1st in downtown Hutchinson. Call us at Pools Plus. And welcome back. With the pitch to Kelsch, pitches in there for a strike. Only one to count with one down. After a little visit to the mound, 
Wind up in the pitch upstairs. Oh, it got the upside edge. The little high. The pitch is good. 0 and 2 to count. Here comes the pitch from Cunningham. Misses and gets by. Goes back to the screen. The runner does not advance. Everybody back to where they were. Bases loaded with one out. One and two to count now to Kelch. Kelch the pitch outside. Counts at two and two with one down. Pitch missing. Three and two to count. It counts full. Three and two to count with one down. Base is loaded. Pops it up on the infield. Boo makes the call for the catch and makes the out. Out number two. So Kelsch pops out for out number two, brings up Brad Beck. Two down here, bottom half to second, 13 nothing. Hudson with the lead. Strike call. Here comes Cunningham's pitch. Ball hit right back up the middle. Can Newquist get to it? Yes, he does. Steps on the back for one and forces the out. So that retires the side as a fielder's choice for the out. We go to the top half of the third inning. Hutch coming to bat. We'll be right back. Don't be fooled. The hot dogs at Jackson Meat are simply the best around. Available in different sizes and quantities, our hot dogs are always fresh and have the best flavor. Your backyard barbecue won't be complete without them. Shop locally at Jackson Meat for the finest, freshest meats and treats. Ask about our party packs filled with burgers, hot dogs, and hot links all bundled up, ready to go. Jackson Meat, 13 West 6th Avenue. Experience the difference at Jackson Meat. Edward Jones, this is Shirley speaking. How may I help you? Oh, hey, Neil. How are you? How was the trip? With nearly 7 million investors. He's right here. Hold on one sec. You'd expect us to have a highly skilled call center. Kevin, Neil Holly's on line one. Okay, great. And we do. It's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing. Your local Edward E. Jones financial advisor, Will Thacker, is located at 1441 East 30th Avenue, Suite B. Phone number is 728-1141. We drive everywhere to help our son reach his dream of becoming an elite swimmer. So we enrolled in the Know Your Drive program with American Family Insurance. It gives us discounts for safe driving, which comes in handy, no matter where his dreams take him. With Know Your Drive, save up to 20% and get closer to your dreams. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. American Family Insurance agent Travis Rodenball is located at 1714 East 30th Avenue. Phone number is 259-7180. Hudson comes to bat in the top half of the third inning. This will bring up Rodriguez, who was on deck when the last out was made, and Rodriguez will step in and get set to hit away. Glad to have you along on HutchPost.com. Pitch in there for a strike. 0-1 oh, to count. Brad R Rodriguez struck out his last time up.
Comes the wind up in the pitch. Mater gets goes back to the screen. One on one to count. So we're in the top half of the third inning. Hutchinson leading thirteen to nothing. Hutchinson got five runs in the first inning. That was on April sixth, and just added eight more to it here in the second. Right now we're in the third. Another pitch this time is fouled off one and two the count. Nobody down here in the bottom half of the third inning. Pitch a little upstairs, two and two to count. Two balls, two strikes, nobody out. Bottom half of the second, third, excuse me, top half of the third. Ball hit, Rodriguez, he's down to first base with a base hit by pitch. This will bring up Bennett Turner, the batter. He was hit by a pitch last time up. Hit from that right side and try to advance something here, but nobody, nobody down. Top half of the third inning, strike call. Turner steps out, looks to Jim Preston down the third base. Now he gets set. Throw over to first base. Back in time is Rodriguez. Talked about the last game as Rodriguez got hit on the thumb here a couple games ago. Had to have the old drill to the thumbnail job done to relieve pressure. Pitch missing, one on one to count. Out of the stretch with a runner at first. Here comes the pitch. Shows bunt, but pitch in there for a strike. One and two to count. One and two to count. Nobody out. Again, top half the third inning here out at Barton Community College. Swing and a miss, and strikeout. As Turner goes down on strikes, second strikeout of the game for Great Ben. Brings up Nolan Cunningham, the batter, with the runner at first base in person of Rodriguez. Hutch would love to get, there's a throw over to first base, would love to get a couple runs here to finish this in five, maybe finish in three if you get two runs across. Pitch in there for a strike. Owen won the count now to Cunningham. Cunningham struck out his last time up, so three strikeouts now for Gray Ben. Elliot looks down the line, gets the sign. Rodriguez off of first base. Pitch, fouled off. Hutch might have had to hit and run on there as Ellie, as Rodriguez led off quite a bit. It's the pitch, curveball missing. One and two the count. Here comes the wind up in the pitch. Ooh, barely missing. Nolan gets set. Here's the pitch. Fouled off. Made it still the pitcher out there. Two and two to count. Runner first play base in the place of Braden Rodriguez. One down. Cunningham protecting the plate nicely. Here he gets set. Weighs the stick. 
It's missing. Three and two to count now. There's a count full. Rodriguez will be going. Got one out. In the top half of the third inning here at Barton Community College. Softball park right next to the baseball park here. Nice facility. Pitch missing. Walks him and runners at first and second. So the base on balls now to Cunningham. He trots down to first base. Move Rodriguez to second base. Let's bring up Zach Hogan. Zach Hogan walked back in the second inning, scored a run. Opportunity now to get one across. Hogan takes the first pitch. One and zero to count. Here comes the pitch in there for a strike. One on one to count. Here comes the pitch from Mater upstairs. Counts two and one. So Zach Hogan digs in, made her on the mound for Great Ben. Here comes the pitch inside, called strike. Hit that inside edge, two and two to count now. Hogan thought that was a ball, got set to turn away. Ooh, just about caught off second base, but Rodriguez is back quickly. No throw to second base. Cunningham was speed at first. Ball hit, chops, foul down that third base line. Coach Preston comes over and gathers it in. Gets it back to the pitcher, and now we get set. The so Hogan at the plate. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss. Chase that one, two down. Chopped out at the very last second. This will bring up Newquist. Newquist also scored back last inning. Runners at first and second with a couple down here. Newquist steps in. The pitch hit Newquist. He'll trot down to first base, so that'll load up the bases now. So hit by pitch, it brings up Dixon, top of the order. So runners at first, second, and third with two out. And Dixon... We'll step in. Elliot on deck. Elliot with a couple hits today. Double back in the second inning to be the leadoff hitter. Here comes the pitch. Goes outside. Nice job by the catcher to get out and stop it there. That was Beck that jumped out and was able to knock down that ball. Pitch upstairs. 2-0 to count now to Dixon. Glenn Grunwald, your host on HutchPost.com for Salthawk Baseball. Salthawks lead at 13-0. Pitch, strike call, 2-1 to count. Nice curve, caught that outside edge. Here comes the pitch, hits sharply right to the sh shortstop, and he goes for the force at second base, and Great Ben gets out of a, a tough one there. It clears, it make, takes us to the bottom half of the third, 13 nothing. Hutch got no runs across. We'll be back with more right after this. The Salthawk Booster Club is proud to support Salthawk Baseball for this season. The Salthawk Booster Club is an important part of Salthawk activities and athletics, supporting the Hutch High student-athletes all year round. 
You like Hutch High Sports? Then the Salt Hawk Booster Club needs you. Sign up today for only $25 annually and support Salt Hawk Sports. For more information, call 620-200-1108 and go Salt Hawks. Forward. Always moving. Never stagnant. Together. Nothing great is ever accomplished without it. At Fee Insurance Group, we've been working side by side with our clients for more than a century. Together with individuals, organizations, and communities, we look ahead to protect the people, places, and things they love. We're Fee Insurance Group. Forward. Together. During this unpredictable year, the Hutchinson Medicine Shop has taken extreme measures in keeping our customers and our staff safe. We have opened our lobby, but continue to offer curbside service with a mask and a smile. We also can deliver your meds to your home or workplace, and if you live out of town, we can mail them. Kindness, efficiency, and professionalism has never waned. Thank you for getting your meds local. The Hutch Medicine Shop in Midtown. Well, Cunningham will still be on the mound for the Salt Ox of Hutchinson. 13 to nothing lead. And uh, we'll see who the Great Ben sends to, to bat. Looks like it is going to be Chase Gruber. Gruber, the third baseman, will be the batter. Hogan out in the center field, and uh, Rodriguez over and left for the Salt Hawks. So Gruber gets set, Chase Gruber. His cutting hands wind up in the pitch, missing one and know the count. Top half of the, bottom half of the third inning, excuse me, not bottom of the third. That's going to not get any runs across that last inning. Cunningham, a right-hander. Gruber, Chase Gruber. He's the third baseman for Gray Ben. Wind up in the pitch. In there, strike call. Two and one to count now to Gruber. Where's number 27 on his jersey? Cunningham, slight wind up. Here's the kick in the pitch. Missing low. Three one count now. Trying to keep base runners off the base paths, if at all possible. Here comes the wind up and the pitch. Missing. Walked him. So Gruber down to first base. This will bring up Jade Poe. Poe will be the batter. Just his helmet. Steps in with the yellow bat. You get set. Pitch upstairs and away. Gruber back to first base was leading off a little bit. Beautiful facility here at Barton Community College. Throw over to first base, back safely. Miles Thompson makes the catch on the ball. Back safely is Gruber. Last time I was out at this facility was a long time ago then. Just a little little shack about the same size as the booth I'm in right now. Pitch inside. This is set up with internet and very comfortable. Heating and air, everything. The wall units, which are suffice. Beautiful night for baseball. Pitch in there for a strike. Two and one to pull now. Is that open stance? Pitch upstairs. Three and one. The 
Steps back in and gets set. Here comes the pitch. Hit. Swung on. Hit to the in, on the infield side. Coming over is Newquist and makes the catch. Got the squeeze for the out. So out number one. So this will bring up now will be Edwin Chavez will step in. His first trip to the plate today. Chavez steps in from that right side. Cunningham looks in with a runner at first base and Gruber. Bull flew out to the shortstop. Hit to the third baseman. Gathered in over to second base for the force there, and that's all they're going to get. So they erase Gruber with the out, and that will be the fielder's choice as Chavez down to first base. It brings up Martinez. Or is it Mater? Let me check it. It will be Mater. Mater will step in. He came in relief earlier on. So two down now as Turner went to second base for the force on Gruber. Mater steps in. The pitch. Hit foul. Great Ben has a pitcher warming up in the bullpen right now. Looks over to first base as Nolan looks over at Chavez. Pitch outside. One on one to count. Going with both the audio feed for you as well as the video feed. Not sure what I was going to have here for internet and able to put something together. Though I am missing two of my cameras that were inadvertently left back at home. Ball hit to center field, coming in quickly. Back is Newquist trying to make the catch, and does. Squeezes it for the out. So three converged on it, and finally Newquist was able to make the out. And we go to the top half of the fourth inning. Hutchison leading 13 to nothing. Hutchison coming to bat. We'll be back right after this. During this unpredictable year, the Hutchinson Medicine Shop has taken extreme measures in keeping our customers and our staff safe. We have opened our lobby, but continue to offer curbside service with a mask and a smile. We also can deliver your meds to your home or workplace. And if you live out of town, we can mail them. Kindness, efficiency, and professionalism has never waned. Thank you for getting your meds local. The Hutch Medicine Shop in Midtown. Here at People's Bank and Trust, we've invested in the future. It's not just technology. It's not just accounts. It's you, our biggest asset. And that's priceless. We will be with you every step of the way. From big business decisions to your very first transaction, we want solutions that work for you. For us, it's simple. Relationships matter. People's Bank and Trust, member FDIC. Elliott Mortuary, family owned and operated since 1935, has served the area with integrity, care, and dedication. Have you ever considered a pre-planned funeral? It lifts the burden from loved ones during an emotional time. Plus, you know your personal wishes will be carried out as planned. Did you know it can also mean lower funeral costs? Make the time to pre-plan your funeral. It's more affordable, and if you ever move, it's transferable. Care and integrity are what makes family-owned Elliott Mortuary the right choice for you. Call today and ask about pre-planned funerals at Elliott Mortuary. Stepping in now to bat for Hutchinson in the top half of the 
fourth inning should be Hogan. Pitch call. Actually, looks like it's Elliot. Elliot leading off. Pitch missing, one on one to count. So Elliot gets set, comes the wind up in the pitch. Nice curve, ball, but missed. Two and one to count now to Elliot. Top half of the fourth inning, Hutchin leading 13 to nothing. Got eight runs back in the second inning, five on April 6th back in the first inning as this game was suspended. Ball hits straight away, center field. They'll come in and squeeze it for the out, so one away. Hogan, I mean, Elliott flies out to center. He had doubled earlier on. So F8 on the out. If you score, this brings up Carter Boo. Who with a nice hit back in the second inning. Wind up at the pitch. Inside edge, you got the strike. All in one account. I just had base runners back in the last inning, but we're not able to get them in. Runners at second and third stranded them. Actually, first, second, and third, because Newquist was hit by the pitch. Pitch missing, one and one to count. A little low. Boo. Swings and misses at that one, one and two to count. Steps in, gets set. Ball hit, put in the air to left field. Coming over is the left fielder now in foul ground and makes the catch for the out. So pops out foul to the left fielder, and this will bring up Miles Thompson. So two up and two down so far here in the top half of the fourth inning. Hutchinson still with that 13-0 lead. They could hold Great Bend for a couple more innings with that score. They get the win. Pitch missing inside, one and no to count. Mater on the mound. Ball hit sharply, high ball, fly ball to right field, and coming over is the right fielder, and it's a foul ball that bounces away. Long strike, one and two. One to count now. Miles really pulled that one. You can hear the crack of the bat. Ends up being foul. Miles steps in. Hit this time. Fair ball down that right field line. Nice base hit just past the outstretched arm of the first baseman. And Miles will take two. Able to hustle and get around to second base. Had a good look at it down there and saw the right fielder kind of misplaying it. So base hit. And then an extra base as the ball skipped away. And he'll come back and he'll get rid of his batting glove and drop back to second base. So runner at second base in the person of Miles Thompson with two out here in the top half of the fourth inning. Rodriguez will step in there. He struck out back in the second and Long hit ball left field, got all of it. Could be foul ground. It drops in for a base hit. Is hit and it will score. Miles Thompson as he comes in and he's safe. So Thompson's able to score to make it 14 to nothing. Was a pretty close play at home base, but a double by Rodriguez and RBI. And Rodriguez got all of that one. That would be what Rob Dreher would call a duck snort right there. Just dropped down on with a nice little base hit on the. He'll take second base on the. On the throw to the plate. 
So Thompson scores run number 14. And at second base is Braden Rodriguez. So Rodriguez with an RBI. Is pitching now, batting now is Bennett Turner. Pretty big run out there with Rodriguez at second base with a couple out. If Rod, if the Turner could get a hold of something and drive him in, it would put some pressure on Gray Ben having to score in the bottom half of the fourth. Ooh, and he's hit by the pitch, clumped him on the helmet, and Turner's down to first base just to bring up Nolan Cunningham so he can help his cause. So runner at first and second now in the inning with two down. In top half of the fourth, stepping in Bobby Garland. So Garland now batting in place of Cunningham. The ball gets away, throw down to third base, over to second base. They're all safe. So runners advance on a double steal. So now both runners, big runs out there, especially Rodriguez, as he's over at third base. So if Bobby Garland can get a hold of something, there's a strike call, one on one to count. Put it to the right side of the infield or someplace and kind of get it through. The infield playing pretty straight away. Swing and a miss on Garland. Could not make contact. Garland gets set. One and two to count. Two down. And just about hit Garland. Leans inside. Two and two to count. Nice job by Thompson to score. Pitch missing. Full count now. Three and two with two down. Both runners will be going on the pitch here. Pitch inside, walked him. So Bobby Garland down to first base. This will bring up Zach Hogan. So Hogan will step out. He walked back in the second inning. Pitch missing. He was out. Number two back in the third. 0-1 oh, to count now to Hogan. Bases are loaded for the Salt Hawks. Hutchinson leading 14 to nothing. Pitch. Ball hit straight away. Could be trouble. Coming over is the center fielder to make the catch for out number three. And side is retired. So we go to the bottom of the fourth now. Hutchinson leading 14 nothing. We'll be back with more right after this. Just when you thought you were done with taxes, you got a letter from the IRS. Maybe you're being audited, or maybe you filed for an extension and still need some tax help. We at h Block are there for you. We don't stop working on April 15th. Our tax professionals are here to help you year-round. So if you have tax issues you need a hand with, even if h Block didn't do your taxes the first time around, visit our offices in Hutchinson, Lyons, or Ellsworth, and let our experienced tax professionals help get you every dollar you deserve. Hi, this is DJ Kaufman and Jeff Yoder of the DJ Kaufman Agency. Insurance rates come and go, but not so for proactive customer service. That's right, DJ. As your agent, we'll help you find and personally service your coverage. Instead of handing your file and information over to someone else after the sale, it will stay with us where we'll keep our eyes on it. There's more to insurance than rate buying. There's proactive customer service. I'm DJ Kaufman and Jeff Yoder of the DJ Kaufman Agency. In Hutchinson and at DJKaufmanInsurance.com. Uncommon options with practical, proactive service.
Listen to that. Nature thriving, kids having fun, and memories being made. Too bad it's all happening in your neighbor's yard. Break the cycle of your yard being in the no-fun zone. Call Advanced Termite and Pest Control for year-round fertilization, weed control, as well as grub control. Advanced is now accepting new customers for this annual program, and when you call, ask them about their discount. Advanced is fully licensed and trained and can help make your yard beautiful. Call Advanced at 662-3616, serving you since 1985. Stefan Spray will be the batter for the Great Bend Panthers. And again, check and see. Bobby Garland will be on the mound for Hutchinson coming on in relief. Came on in relief for Cunningham. Got the chance to do something. There's a ball hit to Newquist. He'll come across to Miles Thompson, and the out number one is recorded. Bottom out to 14, fourth inning right now. 14 nothing, one down. Hutchison with the lead. Let's we'll step in there and get set to hit. This will be Matt Mater. Pitch missing. One and oh the count. One down here in the inning. Bottom of the fourth and the bottom of the order coming up for Great Ben. Swing and a miss. Strike two. In fact, one, excuse me. One on one to count. All evens at one. Wind up and balls hit to the left side. A little pop coming over his new quest and he makes the play out number two. Floated up over there, and Turner got out of his way. So two up, two down now. We'll bring up. We'll bring up Haberman. So Haberman, the batter. Ball fouled off, 0-1 to count. Aberman gets set. Bobby Garland on the mound in relief. Here comes the pitch. Ooh, barely missing outside. One on one to count. Here comes the pitch. Outside edge. Missing again. Two and one to count now to Aberman. Cole Sean Deck. Back in the hole for Great Ben. Three and one to count now as that pitch is missed outside. This game right at an hour long right now. Pitch upstairs. Strike call. Three and two to count. So full count now to Haberman. Gavin Haberman, the center fielder. Ball hit to the left side, but foul. Nice hands over there by head coach of Great Ben, Coach Beck. Count remains at three and two with two down. Nobody on. In bottom half of the fourth inning here at Barton Community College, just where the game was moved due to field conditions, and they walked him. Off the hook, he goes down to first base with a base on balls. and Life there for Great Ben, trying to keep things moving. Bring up the top half of the order. Sage Kolsch will step in. And it will be Garland looks in. He'll go out of the stretch now. Kelsch gets set. There goes the runner. Slow down to second base. Boo gets the ball in time. Did he get him? Nope, safe. Slides in and hooks a little bit, so runner down to second base on the throw. 
Safe at second. Want to know the count now to Kelch. So trying to get a run in scoring position. Great Ben really needs to score four here to keep this game going. Actually five because it's ten after fifteen after five. Pitch inside. Two and zero to count. Hutchison was close to the run rule in the last inning. Had bases loaded with two out before the out was made. There's a strike call. Two and one to count now to Kelsch. Garland, he's a right-hander, a senior also for Hutch High. One more road game at Newton on Friday. Ball popped up in the air. It's playable. Coming over is going to be... Dixon, he makes a nice catch. Dixon pops out to, to retire the side. Pops out on the right side to Dixon. And we go to the top half of the fifth inning with Great, with, uh, great Ben coming to bat, or Hudson coming to bat, excuse me, leading it 14 to nothing. We'll be back right after this. Hi, this is Rob, and I want to tell you about one of my favorite places in Kansas to get a melt-in-your-mouth cheeseburger. It's RV Drive-In, where they've been serving up fresh food, not fast food, since 1948. They're famous for their burgers, but you can also try their homemade pork tenderloin sandwich, patty melts, BLTs, and so much more. Tuesday, Thursday evenings, Friday, and Saturday, they make their homemade onion rings that are the best I've ever eaten. RV Drive-In, Kansas' oldest drive-in at 201 East Avenue A and online at rvdrivein.com. Pools Plus knows how to have fun, even at work. We are a family-owned and operated business for over 30 years, with most of our employees carrying over 15 years tenure. Part-time and full-time positions are now available for all sales and service positions. Experience is preferred, but not required, as we are looking to train the right person. Stop by Pools Plus today to see if you are ready to dive into a rewarding career. Pools Plus, 21 East 1st in downtown Hutchinson. Call us at Pools Plus. Don't be fooled. The hot dogs at Jackson Meat are simply the best around. Available in different sizes and quantities, our hot dogs are always fresh and have the best flavor. Your backyard barbecue won't be complete without them. Shop locally at Jackson Meat for the finest, freshest meats and treats. Ask about our party packs filled with burgers, hot dogs, and hot links all bundled up, ready to go. Jackson Meat, 13 West 6th Avenue. Experience the difference at Jackson Meat. Hutchinson gets set to come at the bat. It'll be Newquist here in the top half of the fifth inning. He'll be leading off. Kinzer Newquist, the fine second baseman for Hutch High. 14 to nothing. Hutchinson with the lead. If Hutchinson can get a run here, they could finish it off in the bottom half of the inning. Ball hit to the left side of the infield. Shortstop scoops it up. Newquist has some speed, but not able to outrun the the throw. And out number one is recorded. We go to the top half of the inning of now, top half of the order now. Dixon comes up to bat. So Dixon will step in with one down. Of course, with that 14 nothing lead after... It's 10 after 5, so Great Ben would have to get five runs here coming up in the bottom half of the inning. 1 0 to count now to Dixon. Ball fouled out, in back, out of play. Only place vehicles can get hurt here with a foul ball is down that left field foul line as parking lots to the left. Ball hit straight up and back toward the screen, trying to make a catch on it, and not able to make it is the catcher as he bangs into the wall. Tough play right there. And to come over and make the catch was Beck. And it'll be nothing but a long strike, one to two to count. Swing 
So one and two to count now to Dixon. Kaylor Dixon. Wind up the pitch. Ball hits sharply, but right to the shortstop. He'll play it over there across the diamond for the out. Nice. Put some nice aluminum on the hit right there, but right to the second, the shortstop for out number two. So two recorded now. And we bring coming up will be Elliott. Kyle Elliott will step in. And he might have a pitch hitter. Let's check it out. I think we do. And coming in to pitch hit will be Colby Akins. Akins will come in and hit for for Elliott. Aiken steps in. Here comes the pitch, and it's going to hit him right away. So Aiken's down to first base. This will bring up Carter Boo. So Aiken wore that pitch on the first pitch from Mater. Now we get set. Runner at first base for Hutchinson. Boo steps in. Pitch inside. Hit Boo. So he's down to first base, and Aiken's down to second base now. So two straight hit by pitches. Pitching now is Haberman on the mound. But he's hit two. This will bring up Miles Thompson. Thompson with a nice base hit and took second base on the throw back in the last time he was at bat, which was back in the fourth inning. Scored a run. One and zero to count now to Thompson. Pitch missing. Two and zero to count. Thompson gets set. It's strike call, two and one to count. Shadows starting to fall across here. Across the mound that you can see on the video if you're watching. Two and one to count now. Ball sharply fouled down that left field line. Two and two to count. Two down. Fourteen nothing. Hutch just went the lead. Runners at first and second. Hutch started this game leading five to nothing because it was suspended back on April sixth. Pitch outside. Three and two to count now. Full count now with two down and two on here. Pitch it walked him. So the bases are loaded with two down. Thompson down to first base, and so you have Aikens at third, Boo at second base, Miles Thompson at first base, and this brings up Rodriguez. He got an RBI back in the last inning on a double. He has an opportunity for another one here. Here's the pitch. It's right down the middle. Strike call. Here's the wind up in the pitch. Inside edge. One on one to count now. No place to put him. See what Haberman does. Holds that mid up at his face. Now he gets set. Out of the stretch. Here comes the pitch. Missed. Two and one to count now. 
Two balls and a strike to Rodriguez. Rodriguez, a good linebacker in football as a sophomore. Also played a little basketball as well on that JV team. Ball hit, popped up straight up in the air. Pitcher looks to make a play on it, and he does for out number three. So he pops out to the pitcher. We go to the bottom half of the fifth inning. Hutchinson needs to hold the gate here. They lead it 14 to nothing. We'll be right back. Edward Jones, this is Shirley speaking. How may I help you? Oh, hey, Neil. How are you? How was the trip? With nearly 7 million investors. It's right here. Hold on one sec. You'd expect us to have a highly skilled call center. Kevin, Neil Holly's on line one. Okay, great. And we do. It's how Edward Jones makes sense of investing. Your local Edward E. Jones financial advisor, Will Thacker, is located at 1441 East 30th Avenue, Suite B. Phone number is 728-1141. We drive everywhere to help our son reach his dream of becoming an elite swimmer. So we enrolled in the Know Your Drive program with American Family Insurance. It gives us discounts for safe driving, which comes in handy no matter where his dreams take him. With Know Your Drive, save up to 20% and get closer to your dreams. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. American Family Insurance agent Travis Rodenball is located at 17... Saltock Booster Club is proud to support Saltock baseball for this season. Saltock Booster Club is an important part of Saltock activities and athletics, supporting the Hutch High student athletes all year round. You like Hutch High sports? Then the Saltock Booster Club needs you. Sign up today for only $25 annually and support Saltock sports. For more information, call 620-200-1108 and go Saltocks. All right, hitting a solid base hit, or a fly to center, it should be. The catch is made out in center field for Hutchinson is stepping up there and swinging away for the out was Beck. So stepping in the hit now will be Gruber. So one down here in the inning. Nice job by Hogan out in center field to make the catch on that one. Actually, might be Cunningham back out there, and I think it is. Bobby Garland, the pitcher, missing. Want to know the count now to pitch to, the, pitch to Gruber. So Bobby Garland trying to close it out here. 14 nothing. Hutchinson with the lead. Gruber, the third baseman, hits it to Newquist. Makes the catch across to Miles Thompson for out number two. So six to three if you're scoring on that one. Two down now in the inning. So this will be up Jay's Jade Poe will be the batter. Poe flied out to Kinzer his last time up, which was back in the third. He'll step in. Garland's pitch. Outside strike call. Bobby Garland chucking right now. He's doing pretty well. Came in relief last inning as well. Settling in. Pitch outside missing. Nice job by Dixon to get to it. Elliott's out in right field for Hutchinson. Rodriguez out on left field. Ball hit right back to the pitcher and coming over is Boo for the throw over to first base in time. And he's out, and that's going to do it. Big win, 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 big win. 